There are two standard manipulations that we can make for calculations with delta G. So this is the first one, and it's, as you can tell, graphical. And so the way this works now, we take advantage of these two equations. So we've worked out when we're at equilibrium, our standard free energy of reaction is negative RT times natural log of K. But also we can call standard free energy of reaction um, equal to the enthalpy of reaction minus temperature times the entropy of the reaction. So I can set these two things equal to each other equals negative RT natural log of K. And if I divide both sides by RT, by negative RT, then this equation manifests, right? Okay, so divide by negative RT, divide by negative RT. And what we get, right, is natural log of K equals, and I'm going to write these separated so we can see now that this is going to be very similar to standard graphical manipulations we've been making. So now if I've got natural log of K on the y-axis and 1 over T on the x-axis, then now this means my delta H divided by R becomes my slope and my delta S divided by R becomes my intercept. So in other words, if I were to do an equilibrium reaction at several different temperatures, right, and calculate the equilibrium constant at different temperatures, then the slope of this line gives me um, delta H divided by R, and I could multiply the slope by negative R, and that would give me the delta H of a reaction, which is pretty cool. That's one way enthalpies are determined. But also, if I back all the way up here and look at the y-intercept, okay, the y-intercept B just equals delta S divided by R. So now if I multiplied that y-intercept by R, that would also give me delta S, all right? Um, I could also do another standard manipulation with our equation to calculate equilibrium constants. And more importantly for us, calculating equilibrium constants at different temperatures, which is what we talked about qualitatively uh, via Le Chartier-Lier's principle in the beginning of the semester, right? So once again, I'll remind you, our equation says um, negative RT natural log of K equals the standard free energy of reaction. So let's suppose I wanted to isolate K, okay? So that's going to be natural log of K equals standard free energy of reaction divided by negative RT. And to isolate K, I take the E of both sides. So now that's K equals E to the negative delta G of reaction divided by RT. And this is going to allow me to actually determine K at different temperatures. But of course, the first thing I have to calculate is the delta G of reaction, which is going to be the products minus the reactants. Okay. So if I looked up those standard enthalpies of formation, and I'll remind you, right, I can get all of those from a table such as this. So I've done that already, and I showed you how to do that as well. Um, so Nitrogen is zero, hydrogen is zero, and ammonia is negative 16.5 um, kilojoules per mole for delta G. So that means my standard free energy of this reaction is going to be some of the products minus some of the reactants. So that's just going to be um, negative 2 times 16.5. So I put the negative sign outside the parentheses. Um, and then minus zero, because all these are zero. Um, so that's going to give us, uh, let's see, negative 33.0 kilojoules per mole. To use this equation here, I need to convert that into joules per mole because my R value is 8.314 joule per mole K. All right, so um, in terms of joules per mole, this is going to be negative three, three, and then I'm just going to tack on three extra zeros. One, two, three. Okay, joules per mole. And now I can set this up to calculate the value of this equilibrium constant at 298k and uh, 773k. And I'll set that up twice and then calculate them both at the same time. So now um, this negative sign is part of the equation, right? So if I have a negative sign here, negative, negative makes a positive. So we have to remember that. So that's going to be negative, negative 33,000 
joules per mole. And of course, that's all divided by 8.314 joule per mole K times, first we'll do the 298K. So that's going to be one calculation. And then we'll do another calculation, setting it up very similarly. Okay. And now that's divided by 8.314 joule per mole K times 773 Kelvin. Okay. Um, and as it turns out, this reaction is exothermic. So we can also start making some predictions as to what should happen with this reaction when we increase K. And so for an exothermic reaction, uh, let's think about this. If I increase temperature, that should decrease the value of the equilibrium constant. So let's see if that works out, all right? So we're gonna have negative negative, which is gonna be positive. So it's gonna be 33, oops, so uh, let's see, 33,000, okay? Um, and I'm just gonna say divided by 8.314 equals, and then I could say divided by, um, where the heck did that negative sign? 33,000 divided by 8.314 equals, okay, good. I don't know what happened there, but we'll keep going. So divided by 298 equals, and then now I take the E of this number, and on the scientific calculator, I can just push E to the X, and I get a really big number for this, okay? So that equilibrium constant um, for this, I get, uh, let's see, 6.08 times 10 to the um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to the fifth power. Okay, so now let's see what I get for this K at 773 Kelvin. So that's going to be 33,000, okay, divided by 8.314, and then now divided by 773. And now I take the exponential of that, um, and for this K, um, with three sig figs, I'm going to call that 170 point. Okay. So that's exactly what we expected, all right? So this is an exothermic reaction. And if you recall back to your Le Chartelier's principle, when I have an exothermic reaction, if I increase temperature, uh, it's like I'm increasing the products and that should shift back to reactants and the manifestation of that is a smaller K. And there we go. Now we can actually calculate what that should be. And we can see that that's exactly what happened, okay? Um, so great. That's the end of my slides for chapter 17. Um, so chapter 12, 13, and 17 on exam three coming up. You all got this.